it's just about the most wonderful time of the year, Christmas time. And so I wanted to share my thoughts on Christmas from the perspective of somebody who was raised in the church and no longer is in the church. What did I think about Christmas? What do I think about Christmas? And should Christmas be celebrated? Is there a war on Christmas? You know, let's just dive into all the nitty gritty. So like most children, my first memories of Christmas are opening up presents in front of the tree, playing with them. I remember specifically, you know, there were Legos. It was this really cool little train set. There was all kinds of really fun stuff that I remember uh, as a young child with Christmas. Uh, it was very much a, a family holiday as it often is with, with little kids. I remember we had a great big tree, unlike my little tree back there um, that is an apartment tree. It's not quite bad as a Charlie Brown tree, but it's not the fanciest of trees. But we had a really nice, cool, big tree, tons of ornaments. You know, grandparents would come over, not necessarily on Christmas day, but around Christmas. When I think about all the holidays, it's like Halloween and then Christmas. I absolutely adored Christmas as a kid. And, you know, obviously as I grew up, you know, learned about little baby Jesus and got fed the whole manger story, you know, with the wise men showing up at the same time as the shepherds that obviously now I don't believe anymore. And I'll talk about kind of how that evolved as a Christian because it definitely, my perception of it changed um, as I got more into apologetics and things like that. Biggest thing is learning that even like within the biblical narrative, the wise men did not show up with the shepherds and that a lot of people estimate that Jesus was born in the spring, not December 25th. Uh, so those were all sort of like mind blowing things when I was, you know, 10, 11, 12. Cause you know, I just presumed like most people who aren't that educated about uh, the biblical narrative that, oh, December 25th, Jesus must've been born on December 25th. Holy cow, that's amazing, wow. I uh, didn't realize that it was you know, the Christian taking over a pagan holiday, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, my view on Christmas obviously evolved in that way. Uh, with the family, it stayed pretty much the same. It stayed pretty special throughout, you know, my teenage years. As far as things like Santa Claus, I know that's a big one that can sometimes cause people uh, a lot of heartache. You know, parents are like, how do I deal with Santa? I want my kids to have the Santa magic but I don't want to lie to my kids. And what my parents did, I think, was a really, really smart thing, is they said, we like to pretend that Santa is real. So we could still have that kind of magic, but not have that horrible blindsiding when you realize, oh, Santa's not real. My parents have been lying to me about Santa. What else have they been lying to me about? That kind of thing that can cause kids a lot of stress and worry and things like that. So, I think my parents did that one right. So hats off to them for that. You know, my relationship with Christmas didn't really change that much as I became less religious and eventually left Christianity. You know, my church, you know, sometimes I think we did like candlelight Christmas Eve services and stuff sometimes, but a lot of times my parents didn't go to that. Obviously we sang more Christmas hymns and stuff in church, but didn't really like affect me that deeply, which sounds weird since I was a very, very deeply Christian, deeply religious person. Uh, and I know I'm gonna get all the comments about Christianity is a relationship, not a religion. You know, I would argue if you're in Christianity, it's both. It's definitely a religion. It fits all of the religious uh, definitions. Uh, but I had a relationship with Jesus or so I thought. You know, over the years, you know, it always got a little bit less magical. Uh, you know, as you get older, particularly once you have your own money, can buy your own things, Christmas sort of loses some of that childhood magic where you're like, well, you know, I can just go buy that thing because I'm earning money versus waiting and waiting and waiting and being really excited for it. Another fundamental piece of Christmas for me growing up was, of course, Christmas movies particularly Muppet Christmas Carol. You know, Muppet Christmas Carol came out in 1992. I was born in 1991. So I literally grew up with Muppet Christmas Carol, would watch it every single year 
uh, before Christmas, usually on Christmas Eve, sort of as a, a tradition to sort of bring in Christmas, to welcome in that Christmas spirit right before Christmas Day. And I loved that tradition. I probably almost have Muppet Christmas Carol like memorized word for word. I haven't watched it for the last few years. It was a tradition that we always did with my dad uh, after he passed away. Took a few years away from that tradition because, you know, it just brought up too many emotions. Also, you know, after Elf came out, watched Elf every year, watched A Christmas Story, you know, all of these really nice classic movies. Of course, watched all of the Rankin Bass Christmas movies, you know, Rudolph, all of those, as well as the Grinch Stole Christmas movie, the actual, like the old animated one with Boris Karloff. Loved Christmas movies, uh, still watch Christmas movies sometime, but that never really changed. Uh, never really watched any like Christian Christmas movies, you know, like there was the Rankin Bass little, little Drummer Boy, but you know nothing like really really christiany that i wouldn't feel like i wanted to watch now i mean it just it was never a part of my christmas experience advent was a part of my christmas tradition in the church that i grew up in but again it's not something that you know was hugely impactful to me in terms of like my christian journey uh, strangely like christmas and church never really, that was never a part of church that was really that special, that was really that, I hate to say magical, but like magical, like when you think of the magic of Christmas, that was not really a part of the magic of Christmas for me. Christmas was always much more that family kind of dynamic, uh, you know, maybe singing carols with the youth group, you know, doing gift exchanges, you know, all the pretty lights. Uh, still, I love Christmas lights, absolutely adore Christmas lights. But yeah, it just, it wasn't, for being like the Christian holiday, uh, other than Easter, it really didn't have that big of a religious impact on me. So it really hasn't changed that much. Uh, other than kind of how it's changed as I've gotten older with it, you know, feeling a little less magical just because, you know, my dad's gone, uh, my grandparents have all passed away at this point. I don't really see my cousins on holidays. Uh, don't, my sister doesn't come around for the holidays. So, you know, it's just, it's not, not the most, doesn't have that same family specialness to it. Uh, so I don't always feel that same magical Christmas spirit that I wish that I did. Um, I'll decorate some, like as obviously I've got my little tree back there that I, I love that little tree even though it's a, a dinky little tree. I do wish that I had space to store a bigger tree. Currently my apartment does not. Uh, you know, maybe someday, I can dream. Someday I will have a space for a big Christmas tree and it will be freaking amazing. But yeah, I know this has been a little bit of a rambly video. I'm working for the new year to actually script out my videos a little more. I uh, at least have, you know, some of my videos more scripted, more structured. But if you made it this far in kind of my little Christmas ramble, you are fantastic and I will catch you in the next video.